It's time for a review of Sheck West Mud Boy. I hope you're all having a great day. You already know I don't care though. Coming out of Harlem where most creativity is from, he found himself in positions where he was able to model. Even in this album explains the decisions that he had to make in regards to schooling, basketball, and in regards to modeling and music. The conflict that those choices kind of made and the lack of regret for the decisions that he made at that time. Now Sheck made a lot of noise this year for his song Mo Bamba. Uh, basically a, a reference to a childhood friend of his that we all know as Bamba now. But that song was released in 2017, a, a time in Sheck's life where he was less known, less popular. Now in 2018 that the song has a ton of traction, it makes sense that Sheck would drop his debut. Ton of buzz around your name, bunch of people playing your hit single, it, it makes sense to drop right now. So what can you expect from Mudboy? Uh... It's 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 a it's an experience, I'll tell you that. From the start of this album, it's clear that Sheck is sound over substance, which isn't really a problem with me. Um, so long as your lyrics aren't bad enough to the point where they make someone want to stop the song, I think you should be fine. He makes sonically apparent references to the title of this album as it seems as though he wants this to come from the perspective of a young man who comes from the dirt, hence why the title is called Mud Boy. Which could also be a reference to the color of his skin, he also references that a few times in this album being a model who's dark skinned and preferred in the industry in today's era. The production's very dark grimy, it's very hollow. When I say hollow, I mean there's this ominous, cold lack of emotion, not only lyrically but sonically. It really makes you feel like you're getting your hands dirty and you're clawing your way through a mud wall. Sheck seems to be a victim of his own anger more often than not on this project. Struggling between the symptoms of like rage and PTSD, he's really created a fuck the world kind of aesthetic for this album. From the opening track to Live Sheck West, he starts out with We Was Out On The Strip, telling cops to suck our dick as kind of a reference to his lifestyle as he continues it with it get tragic where I live everything is negative is like he seems to want to die by this code or that's the mentality that he had while he was in the dirt the same thing happens on the next track gmail track number three dead niggas all up all up on my car anger in my thoughts no trust up in my heart that ends with what feels like a polychromatic escapade through the brain of an anger management patient that's trying not to snap in these massive drops in the beat or all these blood vessels in his brain swelling as he's trying to hold back track one it starts off just as ominous just as muddy with what seems to be almost another presence in Sheck's subconscious yet again bringing out the darkest parts of Sheck as it starts off with mud boy and that's something that starts out with most of the tracks almost as if he's setting his alter ego up to introduce itself to the track chippy chippy is just a mind numbing experience however on track number six it seems to be a cut where Sheck actually holds on to his subconscious and decides to explain why he is the way he is blaming things from his environment his lack of education his family that influenced him explaining why a persona like mud boy even exists in the first place he also continues on this track by talking about his desire to want to stay relevant and just stay alive on the third verse of west pn he seems to imply that people only want that turnt shit and people not wanting to hear sad music and then implies that he's been in a sad space or existing in a sad world for a while now people just not acknowledging that and i think he starts a good discussion in this song about why the lines of rap and entertainment shouldn't always be blurred or blended together people who listen to Sheck, i'm sure think that him rapping about killing and being violent is entertainment when it's probably sad and depressing material for him to write about having to go back and think about it. while yes he does this for a hard and tough exterior it does still come with its side effects this track also talks about Sheck's decision to make fashion and uh and music his priority and i get the point of the track Kyrie but he goes on referencing Jason Tatum for an entire verse but I thought the song was primarily about Kyrie. I'm glad he put the beauty of a song that is Mo Bamba on here because the track is amazing. It was huge in New York and I'm gonna tell you why this track works because of his energy, the disruptive, uh, crazy nature of the beat that requires your attention and the progression of these looming chords in the background that make the track not only hypnotic but also very frightening. On Jiggy on the shit, it's, it's cool that he, you know, talks more about his life and how he uh, went to another country and started off anew by himself, you know, in a, in a, in a different position. But it seems as though he starts with this, uh, this, 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 this other language just to say that he can do it. 
as in his verse, he literally says, nobody else is doing this shit. Newsflash, Shaq, there are other people doing that shit. On fuck everybody, it's literally fuck everybody. This, this, this track right here is the music equivalent of the color red. Nigga, fuck everybody! Nigga, fuck everybody! Bitch! And what happens at the end of this beat with the guitar is insane. like to commend wonder girl and young lunchbox for being a part of this project as well and although i would like to give this album a great score just for these tracks that gave me some really great material on their own sonically and provided a an aesthetic that i hadn't heard this year before uh there are some real letdowns on this album like the way this album ends i get it you know the brand means that he's successful now and we're at a point where Sheck is you know talking about the comparisons he's talking about how much more he's preferred now as opposed to when he first came into the game this track is incredibly triumphant and the the beat the instrumental actually mirrors the the rise you know the the rise from the bottom but come on this hook is about fucking socks expensive socks yes but socks nonetheless the track danimals is just that's fucking garbage. Like, that track is literal trash. And while sonically, this album honestly is one of the best I've heard this year, its sound is extremely cohesive, and the it sounds incredibly expensive. Like, oh my god, it sounds so lush and dark and ominous, and it's so specific. Extremely psychedelic as well. Check is not strong enough as a rapper to maintain this whole thing. I think his energy is far better than his technical ability. Even when he tries to harmonize and sing a little bit more on this album, it just doesn't come across in a non-awkward way in my opinion. While lyrically there is some very vivid imagery on display here, I think it works less as a masterpiece on canvas and more of a finger painting by a five-year-old. I mean, sometimes it feels like he's not even on beat. And I get it, again, energy over substance for a lot of people, but um, here it just makes or breaks some of these songs. Even on the tracks that I do really enjoy, there is some slight offbeat rapping. Overall, I don't think this was a bad attempt. I think it was a great project, uh, sp sonically speaking, but when we get into the way you describe the aesthetic you know it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, a masterpiece in terms of you writing poetry that will put you on par with i don't know whoever your your favorite poet or or your favorite rapper is that's still no excuse for explaining your album like you're having a temper tantrum still enjoyed the project again sonically speaking uh if you want to go for an adventure this is an album i recommend check west mud boy Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope you enjoyed the album as well. Let me know what it gave you, if it gave you anything, and I'll see y'all next time. I think I'm going to leave now before I turn into a mud boy because that fuck everybody track, I mean, that's definitely an anthem. I mean, that's not even supposed to be a bop, and it's a bop. Like, that's what it is. That's what it is.